I want to talk briefly about mommy wine culture. Like, there's no official definition, but you know what it is. And it's hallmarked by things like moms who need wine, which is a Facebook group, or a wine glass that says mommy sippy cup, or, you know, there's actually bottles of wine that have the brand of mommy's time out, or a t shirt that says surviving homeschool, one breakdown and glass of wine at a time. And I want to tell you why mommy wine culture is so problematic because it really perpetuates the belief that we as moms aren't strong enough to get through our own days and our own lives without a drink. And so it actually perpetuates this idea that we're weaker than we are. Now there's nothing wrong with underlying thing that happens here is we as moms are trying to rally around each other and support each other and have solidarity and be there for each other. And that's so, so, so important. But somehow the alcohol industry has snuck its way in with all of these super toxic and very intentional advertising campaigns to create this belief that like, hey, like as a mom, you're going to need alcohol. Now, I've been a mom who believed that she needed wine, right? I needed wine to read the kids a story when they went to bed, and I actually kind of rushed through bedtime in order to get through that uh, story so that I could go back downstairs and refill my wine glass. And from my experience, parenting without booze is so much more enjoyable, but it takes a little bit of like real insight. And the first step, I believe, is realizing that no matter where you are, you are absolutely doing the best you can with the tools you have. And in my opinion, for parenting, wine is just kind of the wrong tool and it's we owe it to ourselves and our kids to unpack that.